If you're wondering how the heck to keep your abdominals pulled in while breathing in Pilates, you're not alone. This is a super common question. And the answer is, uh, I'm gonna give you some tips, but the answer is it takes practice and persistence. So that's my number one tip is you're gonna keep practicing these skills, okay? Um, Joseph Pilates actually did not talk about breathing a lot in Pilates. He did have a device that I'll show you, I'll show you in the end that he worked with with his opera singers, but um, when he talked about breathing, it was much more about just get all of the air out, and that actually helps to strengthen the muscles of respiration. So I'm gonna show you some tricks though on how to breathe with your stomach in. Um, lying down, you're gonna start by just placing your hands on your lower belly, and in a really relaxed way, don't think about pulling in your stomach at all right now, just do a natural breath, imagining that your lungs are two giant pink balloons and you're filling them all the way up to the bottom. So inhale to the base of your pelvis, let everything expand, and then exhale all that air out. Okay, so that's a natural, normal breath, right? Next, we're gonna try to connect to our lower abdominals and then keeping the lower abdominals in, we'll try a breath like that. So pull in your lower abs, lengthen your lower back, and holding on to that position, breathe in and keep your lower abs pulled in. And exhale. Now you might have felt something was a little bit different there. Maybe it's very vague for you at this point, and that's okay. You might also have felt like you could keep your abdominals pulled in, but there was still a little bit of a lift. And that's actually fine because there is air going in there and there is gonna be some slight change. You can't keep them like rock solid hard. Um, so that's, that's normal, um, just keeping that in mind. Now I'm gonna talk about where else to breathe when you're trying to keep your abdominals engaged because normally we breathe all the way down and open the front of our bodies to breathe. So in Pilates, when you're connecting to your abs, you're gonna to try to make more space on the sides and back of your lungs than just in the front, which is what we're normally doing. And by doing this back lateral side breathing and back breathing, we're actually expanding the capacity of our lungs. So this is a good thing. Also, we're lying down for most of these breathing exercises and that's helpful too. Okay, so now we're gonna place the hands on the sides of the body and practice that lengthening of the, uh, pulling in of the lower stomach while lengthening of the lumbar spine and breathe into your sides so that your hands expand sideways. Breathe in and breathe out. And try that one more time with just one hand on your side and the other hand on low belly. Breathe in and breathe out. So you might feel your um, ribs opening sideways and coming back together. That's good. Okay, so then the last part, we're gonna place our hands a little lower under the lower back part. And when you breathe in, try and feel your fingers, your skin get heavier on your fingers. So breathe in and breathe out. And try it with one hand on your stomach. Breathe in and breathe out. So as you can feel, there are places for us to breathe and this coordinating of being able to breathe in, into these new spaces is actually quite a mental task. So in the beginning of Pilates, we don't tend to talk about it a ton because as teachers, we know you've got a lot to think about. If you're simply breathing, that's great. And thinking about keeping your lower abdominals engaged you're doing awesome. So just keep practicing that, trying to re-coordinate it. I even forget to do this myself. So it's a practice that you'll continue to use throughout your uh, Pilates life. The last thing I wanted to share with you because it's a fun little um, fact is this breathizer, And this is a tool that Joseph Pilates created when he was working with opera singers. And it's a tool, like I said, he would talk about when he described breathing, getting all the air out of the lungs in order to empty dirty stuff in the bottom of the lungs, clean things out. And then it, when you breathe in again, it expands and opens new space. So he, you would do it like this. You would take a deep inhale and try and spin the wheel as long as you can. 
<laughs> that wasn't my best effort, but you get the idea. You can practice this yourself with any kind of a pinwheel, or you can just make a, your hand um, have a nice little bit of a hole so you can breathe through it. You're just basically compressing your air. And you're really getting all the air out. So that's a fun little fact um, to practice, and it helps to expand your lung capacity and strengthen those muscles as well. Uh, you can leave me any questions below this class if you have comments or thoughts about that, and I hope this helps you with your Pilates practice.